Okay, thank you, Fatalis. I'm making money playing this game. Unlike the developers. <laughs> oh, I hate this character so much, but I that's- I got you. I got you. Ugh. All the game has high physics, sound design, and sense, insane haptics on each gun, etc. The game's not for you then. Well, it turns out it's not just for me. It's not for anyone. It's for 600 people. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm lost. And over the years, I have been labeled as a bit of a toxic person. And you know what? My therapist told me to take that to heart. So I stabbed him in the eye with a pencil. And as he was screaming in the background, I thought to myself, God damn it, he's right. So, to become a good progressive person, I became the number one Concord streamer on Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, everything in between, I suppose. Welcome to a Lost My Sanity Productions <laughs> playthrough of Concord. I regret my life so much right now. I say that, but I shouldn't be complaining too much. I have played it a little bit, and just on a competency level, there is there is some value there. Yeah, flop of the year. I heard this game only had 700 players on launch. Peak players won that. What you really need to look at is average players, and it's not good. Now, it's probably more than 700, because that was only on Steam. But given the fact that they have spent 100 million, 150, 300 million, I don't know where people get these numbers from, but something akin to that. It doesn't matter, because 700, 1000, or 2000, or 10,000, realistically, in this scenario, all of those numbers are the same number. That's just what it boils down to. So this is a big fat red number in the ledger of Sony. How the fuck do I get a hype train where there's only two people in here? This is such a fascinating situation because there are videos of this on YouTube about this game being awful. The videos on Concord are doing really well. A lot of people want to know what this whole game is about. So I would at the very least think that Concord had some amount of viewers on Twitch. But that's not the case. Because if you take a look at the Concord category, right now Concord has 95 viewers on all of Twitch, if I'm reading this right. Imagine me having a stream with 100 viewers, and that's more than the entirety of Twitch for this game. It is crazy. You're rather handsome. Your wife is lucky. Yeah, no, I am. I know. I am very, I'm very handsome. I know. Oh, I'm inside her brain. I'm grabbing her brain right now. Or at least I think it's a her. You never know with this game. You're going to be a new Concord streamer? That's right. I am going to dedicate my time to nothing but Concord, baby. Oh, fuck. Let's get into it. So we'll do a brawl overrun. Capture and defend objectives from competing rival teams. You know what? Why not? Let's do that one. That's, that's a classic Overwatch thing. Lost on Concord, one of the 93 active players. <laughs> I was really fucking curious, so that's why we did this. And also, I guess we don't know if I get if you get to see any gameplay. I did play earlier, but we've been sitting here on the overrun matchmaking server for like a couple of minutes now. One minute and a half. We'll see. I did get some deathmatch. We did get deathmatch, but let's give it like a, a good solid few minutes. I will gladly watch you shaft attacks, man. Hey, I'm streaming this game now, so this is technically a a work cost. Oh shit, we're in! I will give them credit. I mean, a lot of this shit does look really cool. Visually, in a graphical sense, it's very good. I cannot be Theo, somebody chose him. Cannot be him either. I- ugh, I hate this character. I'm gonna be this- I'm gonna be this guy. I hate him so much. Second most- disgusting looking guy in the game but uh he does have a weapon that i enjoy using here we go this will be fun just try to stay in one piece okay Sniper, stay out of sight. kill it kill it with fire i don't even know what that robot does but he's about to get his ass handed to him oh I didn't get a kill, but I think I got an assist. <gasps> I have a radar. I didn't know that. Woo, baby. Die, you little piece of shit. 
That's me, baby. <laughs> this isn't guts. This is guts. <laughs> That's really good. I like this. I like this area, though. That's, this is a cool looking map. Is this Overwatch light? It plays a lot more like Destiny. It feels like a slower Destiny. Come on, kill him. I, I, he's so close to being dead. Good boy. Am I supposed to stand here and just guard this thing? Okay, I stand in the corner. We got a new signal zone. Zone E. There is no friendly fire in this game. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Man down. That's one way of getting my ability. Okay, here comes... Uh, oh, Chunker. <laughs> I'm dead. We just won. It wasn't even difficult. Look at me. Look, look, look out. Oh, God. God damn, look at me. Did I do good here? I got two kills and eight assists, which isn't too bad. I feel like I contributed. What? What? What is not nice looking? Again, as you can see, though... The quality of the graphics is pretty good. And while the screen here is a little busy, you know, you have the overlay where it says Concord and Overrun and it's counting upwards the seconds for how long you've been waiting in a match. And then there's the uh, play and job and free gun and galactic guide and settings and all of that at the bottom. They could have probably just had that on a blank slate of white or something so that it didn't mesh with the background. But even so, I think it, they have done a good job there. And this is what Banshee told me. This guy is Bubblegum Thanos. I fucking love that name. Got hired by my BF for something right now. Ooh. Is it sex? <laughs> Where he would pay for that. That is a bit weird, but don't judge other people's relationship, church. Maybe they enjoy mixing sexual and financial pleasure. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, babysitting his cats in his parents' house. I love hitting the climax of my bank account. Two and a half minutes. Are you top 100 in this game? I probably am. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was uh, almost four minutes. Three minutes and 40 seconds. Me and my crew. You don't have a crew because nobody likes you. Lost will keep this game alive single-handedly. Now, you say that. Keep in mind that I am not recommending you this game simply because the person who made this or one of the devs did call everybody who criticized the talentless freaks. And so I can play this because, uh, you know, I, I, I get some content out of it, but not you. Pro tip, don't mess with someone who can light you on fire. Pro tip, shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, I have a double jump as this guy. <laughs> that's, that's weird, but all right. Oh, it's, I know which bitch this is. Haha! <laughs> -ha! Shield and heals, baby! Oh, I need to charge this thing. Okay. I'm taking health. I'm taking more health. Oh, you asshole. But I was doing good for my my crew, I think. I say that, but we're also losing. So I'm going to blame my crew on this. I'm too good to lose, right? If it wasn't for my team not backing me up there, we would definitely be winning. Hi. I was in the middle of an explosion. That didn't count. Isn't having a ta talent and a euphemism for filing to file bankruptcy at this point? That's probably true. Okay, you know what? Uh, no, no chonker anymore. I can't. I, I don't want to be a chonker. I want to be a quick one. I want to be a quick little boy. Oh, it's the token white guy. This white guy is the whitest basic bitch white guy that has ever whited. He is so basic. This man is whiter than me, and that is a goddamn miracle because I eat mayonnaise with every single fucking meal. I need healing. I, I need healing. I need a lot of healing. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Oh! I think the reason why we're losing is that he's a white dude and they probably made him weak on purpose. <laughs> it has Overwatch uh, abilities and characters, but in reality, the way the game feels is more like Destiny. After playing a match, right? A couple of matches. This game ain't the terrible game in g gameplay wise that everybody wants people to think it is. It's like a 6.5 out of 10 gameplay wise. Enemy. Yeah, time to kill is is very, very slow. Now, generally, I am a guy who kind of goes towards uh, or I lean more towards a game that is that has higher time to kill. That's just how I like playing my games. But in this game, it is way too much. That's something they could fix rather easily. They could fix that. I'm not going to hold that against the game too much. If I'm just taking it as it is, it's still the gameplay is still a 6.5. That's not good enough when you are up against uh, Destinies and Overwatches or Hell uh, Helldivers, right? Helldivers just came in, baby, and really did a, a number. Oh, I hate this character so much, but that's... I got you! I got you! Ugh. I just fucking hate it so much. I hate it so much! You know what really makes it? It's the lipstick and the piercing. The, the armor is also really bad. I think th this is a she. We don't actually have to assume this is a her in the game because it, it says so on the gaming screen. Oh, I fucking hate this bitch. Maybe what I need to do is I need to be quicker. Boring white dude that activates. I like the, not the music, but the sounds though. This game gonna grow big just because of people like you. Thank you. Thank you, Steel. This is just such a... It's not an early 2000s kind of lead character in video games because he would be, uh, he would be not bald, but he would have, you know, he would have the bus cut, right? The bus cut. Oh, uh, what is happening here? <laughs> she got him at least. You know, a Borderlands setting would be perfect, really, for a hero shooter. Uh, oh god, okay. It would be the ugly one again. Here we go, one man down. I love how this gun feels, though. I, I do. <sighs> I think this game just on a marketing point of view did everything so fucking wrong. They did everything they fucking could to alienate their audiences. Their characters look very unique in their design. I don't think so. I think this is some of the most boring and bland ass try hard shit that I've seen. I hate them. And I don't think they're good designs at all. Just from a game game perspective, you are supposed to know what all of these different characters do. So if I just go and hit the free gunner and I hit the customized thing. If you look at the Duchess, what do you think she does? What is her character ability? Nobody would be able to guess. Her identity doesn't stem from her abilities. It uh, stems from the fact that, you know, she's old. What do you think this one is? This is standard pretty Asian girl. And don't get me wrong, love pretty Asian girls. Big fan of their porn. But th what does she do? She she rains down fire. She's a fire mage. What is this guy? You guys already know what this guy is, but does this really scream medic to you? Maybe some of the stuff on his chest? But that's about it. This is as generic white dude as it gets. And when they are unique, I will give you that. When they are unique, this is fairly unique. It's bad. It's a bad unique. And I hate this one. What is her ability? I hate those shoulder pads so much. It just comes across as super fucking try hard. It, you, you try so hard to be cool. Everybody can see. Oh, it's a pimp. <laughs> yeah, it's a pimp. This is one of the few people you can actually tell uh, what his deal is. 
So this guy is, of course, you know, a frontline type of guy, and he probably hits you because he's big and has muscles. Same with this one, right? This one is also... And let me show you. I hate that fucking design so much, the armor. But look at this one. That was cool, right? That was an actual cool design. If they had gone with that, I think they could have gotten a few extra hundred fucking sales. I'm not even joking. All of these designs are trying to appeal to people who don't play video games. You should probably make characters that normies thinks are cool. Let's try this lady. I actually really like her as well. You can't see it, but she got robot legs. I do like the way she looks, but she also doesn't really strike me very much like a sniper. But whatever. And one skin. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's not even a joke, Wofin. I think they would double their sales, yes, if they just changed some of the skins. I don't know what my abilities here are, by the way. I should have checked that out before I did anything. Oh, baby! Oh, it's a trip mine. That's what it is. Oh, I shot him in the face! Fuck you! <laughs> Get that no scope lost. Yeah. Shoot him in the fucking face! I hit I hit an ability and it shot me up in the air. <laughs> I didn't fucking know what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Wolfin, it's... You wouldn't think it would be that difficult, right? You wouldn't think it would be that difficult. Keep the characters like that for the most part, but slap in a, a unique character every here and there, you know? There's a character in Street Fighter VI that I love, and she kind of goes uh, against the mold. It's Marissa. But I still love her, because she has a lot of personality from being a person, you know? It's not like, oh, I'm gonna have to check these boxes to make a character. Muscle mommy, yeah. You could argue that game sexualized their characters so fucking much and everybody fucking loved it. Just look up Kami Street Fighter 6 and you'll know what I mean. Yeah, Mar Marista is appealing to look at still. I love that character and I love her personality. It's in the game, right? She has like a crush on Sangeef. She just thinks he's so manly. And then Sangeef is gay, maybe. I, we don't, we, I don't know. I don't think anybody has ever confirmed that, but it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change characters because this doesn't it didn't work. Yeah, that's me. I do like robot legs. She's technically disabled and we love her for it, right? What if she cut off her the robot legs and gave her wheels there instead? I think it would still fucking work. It would also contribute to how the character plays. I'm surprised no one has done the Aeon Flux hand legs. Oh, that was a perfect like spied legs. Ooh, yeah. How has your morbid curiosity played out so far, Lost? So, it's not generic, but it it's both generic and not generic at the same time. When it is generic, it's bad generic, and when it's not generic, it's bad not generic. From a visual point of view, when it comes to its characters at least. But as a- how the gameplay works, it's not bad, right? This is far from a bad game. The gameplay is- solid. I mean, the movement feels smooth. They probably uh, need to up the damage on the guns, and they probably need to um, adjust the balance a bit. But at the same time, it's like adding spice to... Oh, what, what's, the, what's the best analogy here? Because it's so hard, because it's... You can't be a 5.5 game in a genre that is currently dying, and also has like fucking 10 out of 10 games. It is so middle of the road that nobody's paying attention to it. Bland slop, yeah. Look at the graphics though, and the amount of animation, facial animations and everything else. You can clearly see there's a lot of effort gone into it. It is great. Look at the guy walk, he has a, he, look at the ash shake on him. Look at the ash shake, oh my. Graphical fidelity, it's technically brilliant, but it lacks a soul. It's about 1 million players right- uh, million per player right now in the terms of spending. Hey, I'm a million dollar player!
That makes me feel valuable. <laughs> white dude can probably use microaggressions to deal emotional damage. Yeah. And, and I have white privilege that brings me back from death once every match. Oh god, it would be such a nightmare. Uh, but imagine if somebody made like a, a game like that. It was like a, a woke parody game where white privilege was an actual superpower. I would fucking love it. But it's fine. I'm kind of having fun. I think I have more fun than a fair amount of other people because I don't play these games a lot right now. Oh yeah, stick of truth like difficulty setting. Oh yeah, I, exactly. If South Park made a hero shooter, that's what it would be like, Loodles. Yeah. What did you learn about your hero's personality that match? I'm very white. Have you already become the best player in the world? Top 100. But I am playing on with a controller, so, you know, we're going up against people with mouse and keyboard, and they are a little better. Uh, they have an advantage. God damn it! All of those keyboard privileged people. The game really doesn't banana bread, man. And when it does stand out, it's for political reasons, which most normal people are just sick of. They don't want to deal with that shit. They just want to close their ears and not listen to people complain. The people that would listen to these complaints, they aren't buying video games. It's like 1% of the population. Maybe they don't want to be classified as people. <laughs> I have 38 people in here right now. I may be the biggest Concord streamer out there. Congrats. Or sorry, maybe. We don't really know. Well, you don't have to say sorry to me, but you definitely have to give the developers their symp your sympathies. Or maybe not. I mean, the de one of the developers just really hates you. With a passion, apparently. This is a throw, right? Oh, that just goes straight forward. Ooh, I got one. I really feel like I should be doing more damage. Where's this person? Come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> no, I hate you too. I got god that I I hate that animation so much. Oof. Oh god, lost. Yeah, I'm gonna single-handedly bring this game back from the brink. So if I go to Twitch, Concord. God damn it, we're not the biggest one. There's one with 56 viewers and there's one with 39 viewers. And we are at 34 right now. Damn it! We're not the biggest one. We're the third biggest Concord streamer as as we speak. It's so over. It really is! This game is so fucking dead. Okay, so what do you do? Ability one is hover. Where is this woman's jetpack though? My character is one of the more pleasant ones to look at. She's terribly designed from a uh, utilitarian point of view. I have no idea what this person does if I if I didn't look at the weapon. All right, boys. Oh god damn it. What hit me? Okay, my entire team is getting absolutely an annihilated. Bootleg Samus. Oh, that's a good one. Bootleg Samus. I like that. That's also one of the most iconic characters of all time. You know, the way they actually made Samus' suit in the later games is so cool. You know, it's both feminine and badass. Woo! Down you go, boy! Not gonna lie. Yeah, this character is fun to play. Second streamer now. We're climbing the rankings. Fuck yeah! Hey, thank you, Fatalis! I'm making money playing this game. Unlike the developers. <laughs> oh no, they got my woman. Uh, I'm going to play as the elderly. I am the gilf. The great gilf. Nobody would play this game over Overwatch, over Helldivers, or over Destiny, right? So you have a better game for every single player that wants to play this type of game. It came out too late. And it does try to shove, you know, identity politics down your throat. Which, even if I were on... Nobody wants to listen to it. They just want to play their games and, and be cool characters, right? They just want to be cool characters. If they're trying to aim for a 1% of, uh, of gaming audiences, that's what this game appeals to. Or 1% of uh, modern audiences. And they're surprised that nobody plays their game. And politics aside, the character design is ass. Y yeah. Even if all of the other things I said was true, if they had badass characters, people would play. That's just the fucking end of it. When I play 
for example, Halo, you know, I want to feel like Master Chief. When I play Elden Ring, I want to feel like a badass knight. When I play Concord, I want to feel like an obese man with type 2 diabetes. That's how the game makes you feel. Here's the very funny part, right? Diversity has become a dirty word nowadays, but diversity in games are so good. Imagine if Mortal Kombat was just Sub-Zero and Scorpion and in all the other different colors, right? It was just different colors, Scorpions. So you need, you know, you, you need all of these different people and these different characters. It's good. And somehow they made it bad. The people who want to push this down our throat has made us vomit this shit back up against them. They're sabotaging their own fucking goals. But most of them, I don't actually believe, have that as a goal, right? I just think they want to complain. Look, guys, I'm so pro-diversity, and that... <laughs> it feels weird saying that. When I mean, that should just be the default. You know, you don't get points. It would be like me going up to my wife and say, Hey, woman, I didn't cheat on you today. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's fucking, that should be the standard. You don't get points for not cheating on your wife. You, you, you just don't. Yeah, imagine if Skyrim, if you could only play as a Nord male. You are so on the money, noob. Nobody's complaining about the fucking diversity in Skyrim. I don't think the world is as fucked up as as people think it is, man. I think that it's just it's just the loud people are a little extra loud. Have you heard of this free game called Fortnite? <laughs> Roka, because her name she uses a rocket launcher. Ooh. This is worse. This is an underwater character. Uh, actually, there are 200 people watching Concord on Twitch. More players in the game. Why don't you just buy it and support it? Because they don't want it. <laughs> they don't want it, Tori Gum. Because it's it's not worth their money. They could play Destiny 2, or they could play Overwatch, and they would be better off. How much? It's 40 bucks. And especially they don't want to support a game that is trying to push politics down their throat. But I have Battle Pass skins. Well, yeah, but it's it's mechanically worse than all of those games. So th there is no point in playing this game, plus the developers really pushed people away when they called them like talentless freaks for real solid criticisms. And, you know, this is also a live service game that came out far too late. People are enamored by how hard this game is failing right now. It's a car crash, P people can't look away. I understand it. When something this extraordinary is happening, I absolutely understand that people are watching and not buying. And they, they're not even watching it, right? They're not even watching it. Because 200 people watching a game is nothing. It is nothing. Uh, some days ago there was 7,000. Well, yeah, the reason why there was 7,000, Tori, is because they marketed it by having popular streamers play the game. And so I'm not surprised. That is an actual smart move. But do you like this game? I would not recommend it. I would say... Play either Overwatch or play Destiny instead. I'm also very annoyed by the behavior of the developers. You know, I have the same exact criticisms of this game like uh, everybody else has. And so uh, I don't want to really support a developer uh, that is just mean to me. Why would I do that? But I, t <laughs> but I did buy the game because why... <laughs> I thought, why not? The 40 bucks I pay for this, I can... It's tax deductible. And, uh... uh it's not like I'm gonna keep the company afloat. So, you know. <laughs> Streamers have bought games like Gollum that shits and giggles. Yeah, yeah. So, a game like Gollum had more players, but it was... It, it was by miles worse, right? So, there is something happening that is turning everybody off. And we know why. I mean, queue, queue times have, for me, been more like three minutes. But even then, I, I wouldn't say it's been too much of an issue to play for now. But you can't only count Steam numbers. Look, whether it's 600 players on Steam or 5,000 players with Steam and, and, and PlayStation, those are, those are basically the same numbers in this instance. Those are the same numbers. Because you have to sell a lot more than 5,000 copies 
if you want to make this investment work. Boycott the game. PC players are not boycotting the game, Savage. No. They are not boycotting the game. They are simply not buying it because they don't want to. Because it doesn't look fun enough. Not, nor does it look interesting enough. None of the players in this game are players that I would like to be. Massive marketing failure. That's, that's true as well. But you can only market the game with what it has. And it doesn't really have any WoW characters that I was like, Oh, that's cool. When I first saw Overwatch and I saw like Genji and, uh, and Mercy, I love playing like uh, support characters. So Mercy was just right up my ally. A a ally? Ally. Are you on top? We're the second biggest Concord streamer. Yeah, the people are trying to avoid called Hogwarts, Wukong, Stella Blade. And the people play them because they're good games. And let's be honest though, the people who complained about Wukong, they were idiots. They didn't really know what was happening anyways, and most people don't care. 12 maps, absolutely different from each uh, each one. More free content to come, new mode in January. Too late, too fucking late. And also, there might be 12 maps. I didn't know that because they are not different from each other. We'll try the, the bug one later though. Every video about Conco just throws shit. Uh, only focus on the price in the reviews. Important magazines to give it a six. But at the same time, they say that the gameplay, the graphics, the technical department are all done well. Yeah. So the gameplay, the graphics, and the technical department are all done well. But it's not an eight. The place that gaming is today is actually so impressive. It's actually gone so far that you can't just do well and and be uh, and and be a uh, and and be an eight anymore. This is very much middle of the road. And it's a six. And this is how good middle of the road is right now. So you, so what the fuck? You destroy it and give it a six just for fucking price to follow the shitstorm. We, I've never seen anything like this. I think I've already explained myself uh, very well. 40 viewers. No, the guy has 68. There's a guy who has 68 viewers. When you have all of those other games, why would you buy something that is, uh, is, is middle of the road? You gotta be exceptional. And this game has not been exceptional uh, in, in, in most ways, with the exceptions of its failures, I suppose. Ah, she got me. Time to develop. Seasons, updates, it's a multi-hero. No, if I pay 40 bucks, I'm not gonna wait. It's not a question of development, though, because even if this game had been a little better, I still think... Even if I had to, even if all of the suggestions I made co comes to fruition, right? It still has really ugly character designs that nobody really wants to be. It speaks bad because the price and the show. No, no, it's not. It's not the price. It's the characters, and that there's there's no point in buying a game when there's so many other g good games around. <laughs> what about Captain Diabetes' feelings? He has feelings too, you know. Uh, barely. But here, Captain Diabetes, he eats his feelings away with cake. I don't really play a lot of these games. I'm more of a uh, Elden Ring fantasy kind of guy. But I had to get in on this. Because I wanted to see if this game was as, uh, you know, iffy as people said. We only follow the masters and nothing else. Uh, the average player is stupid. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. The average player is not stupid. He is online for someone famous that the game is bad and decided to not take it with the Dominant fix. The average gamer is not stupid. They can look at the game and think for themselves and to say, is this something that I am excited about? And they're not. It's not like they listen to the Osman Golds and the Dis Dr. Disrespects, but nobody listens to him anymore, or the PewDiePie's of the world. If the game was... I'm an average gamer. I am at this point. If it wasn't for the fact that I do YouTube as a, as a job, of course. I identify as an average gamer. The customer is always right. The customer is always right in matters of taste. That's the full saying. The customer is always right in matters of taste. And this, uh, this right here is a matter of taste. Oh boy. Ah, uh, well, that was fair. Yeah, Star Wars Outlaws is out now as well. Another game that I don't see doing real well. In Outlaw, you can only pet wildlife, not kill. Only pet wildlife? <laughs> I mean, uh, fine. It's not really a game about... Woo! 
How the hell did we survive that, ladies and gents? Why did they make a copy of a free game cost that much? You know what? That's a great way of putting it. Say nay to killing. Say yes to killing. Wait, am I on top of Concord? I'm on top! I am the most viewed Concord streamer! I am the best! Number one! Lost number one! Dude, I'm gonna tell my Discord. With 45 years, I am the biggest Concord <laughs> streamer on Twitch. Yeah, baby! Uh, it's crew bonuses. I don't know if the whole premise of the game is crew bonuses. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You know what? After this is done, let's, let's try to get a handle on the crew bonuses. So I understand it a little better. Because it, it looks a little... It looked a little complicated. But then again, that might also just mean that there are more depths to it. Oh, and I was eliminated. Mainly the rivalry game mode. The rivalry game mode. I don't know how much it will uh, help uh, with the generic movement and it will not help with the characters. The games go so fast you can't even get all of your bonuses. Well, that's a that's a problem. That's a problem with the game. If it's comp if it's difficult for me to understand, it's not because I'm stupid, nor is it because any of the other people playing it are stupid. It's that they don't really do a good job of explaining that stuff. A lot of the hit comes from a very casual outlook. Well, that that might the outlook might be casual, but so what? If it can't be enjoyed on a basic, simple level, then they have failed. I don't think the crew bonuses will change things up that much because the issues that I'm currently having, well, as I said, the, the characters, the balancing, it just feels like every other fucking game. Whew. Can you see yourself playing this for 200 hours? No. Let's check out rivals or, uh, you know, crew bonuses and shit like that. So we have free gunners, uh, crew builder, classic crew. Let's build a new crew, uh, one off and friends. I don't know what that means. I'll just choose it. Oh boy. Okay. It's a lot of reading. Anchor controls an area with undeniable presence. Breacher starts fights or breaks into enemy defenses. Uh, crew bonuses, fast dodge cooldown, increased healing received. So the more I switch between these characters, uh, the more I will get these bonuses. Improved mobility for haunt, improved weapon recoil, faster reload speed, longer weapon ranges. Does it introduce any new ideas uh, mechanic uh, or same or same old? You could argue that this is a new mechanic. It's it's not really... No, I've seen other games do this to in, in a much smaller way, I, at least where they have things that uh, incentivizes you to change your characters from one to another. But it doesn't do anything new. It's just all solid and competent. All is fine. It's based on intergalactic world. There are endless possibilities for character looks. Then why does it look so bad? Yeah, in an intergalactic world, you have infinite amount of characters that you could create. But then that just means that the developers have been bad at creating characters. That the character designs are bad. The characters can always be reworked. Oh, but that's, that's, well, you have to come out the gate swinging. You can't just have shitty characters and change them later because that's going to ruin it for you. Skins could also be a big part uh, in the way to make the characters look better. Well, they you start with the best fucking skin. So what do I need? I need 12 crew members, five unique free gunners. Starchild is one. Uh, Theo is another. We have two larks. Why do I have two larks? Whatever. Roka, definitely need a Roka. Max three of identical variants. I'll, I'll take three of her. Uh, I, I, I fucking. I, do I have to pick five? Two more of generic white male. There we go. Shame it had eight years of div time. Most games rework characters. I know what's planned. No, still. I don't. I don't give a fuck about the future. You can't tell me. Oh, it's gonna be really good in the future. We don't know what they have planned because I am not interested in the future. I'm like, oh, I'm playing this game. I'm having so much fun in the future. No, I'm playing it. I have fun now. I need to have fun now. Yeah, you know what? We're going to grab a, cup, a couple of Captain Diabetes because I do know how to play him. I don't even know what they're hating on. You said the game is fun. The game is, f is, is, is okay. It's fine. 
but they hate on how ugly the character is, which is a legitimate and good criticism, not just the identity politics, politics stuff. That is, ju people are just got, they're just so sick of it. They're so sick of it. They don't want to be reminded. They just want to play their game and have fun. And if when that's all in their face all the time, then why would they even touch it? And that aside, the characters are just look, they look bad generally because if you take a look at character diabetes, uh, what the fuck is he supposed to be? You know, it, you don't see that he's a medic. You don't see that Lennox here is a fucking gunslinger. You don't see that Haymar is a fire mage. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, generic white man one is also uh, fairly easy to understand. But that's about it. Uh, angry. Respect the passion. I'm not angry. Uh, I'm, I'm not angry at the game because the game doesn't really matter to me. You know, it's it's more fun to talk about when it's uh, it's it's passionate. It's all fun. Focus gameplay. No, no, I do not focus the gameplay. There are things that ruins gameplay, and visuals is one thing. And Concord straight up ruined it for themselves with the characters. That's the main thing. I have made all of these people. So I have to switch between the characters I have on screen in order for them to get their bonuses, right? Right? People love the characters when they play them. I do <laughs> No. No, I do not love the characters when I play them. People don't need the same badasses in every game. We do need some badasses, though. We do want different interesting characters that are connected to the world. And these are not badasses. That's a lot better. That is a lot better. But you, you're... I'm still... I still fucking hate, hate her character when you choose her on screen. And this... This is... This is bad. Legendary. This is fantastic. This is great. Star Style is cool, to be fair. No. No. Uh, you know what my wife calls this guy? Bubblegum Thanos. It's your standard brooding hulk. There's nothing really too special about him. They have to do better. Talking about marketing, not the game. Well, the, the marketing is very dependent on what the game gives them, right? And the marketing didn't really have... God, I'm looking at the crew builder right now. And I didn't really register the image that I'm looking at. But that is... That character is so fucking lame. If I saw that character on some box art, I would be like, no. No, I don't want to play as that dude. The game is fine, including characters. No, the gameplay is fine. Characters are trash. You know why I'm right about this? It's not even a fucking question. You know what I'm right? Because this is one of the biggest flops in the entire video game history. Long range, seasonal. Ooh, what's this? Case the joint, ping 10 opponents. Oh, we should do that as well. Extra mutations, extends magazines and additional grenades. Working on variant job. I don't really have any sort of um, love or hatred for the game, actually. I'm just super curious about why this game has, has failed so hard. It's so interesting because it's failed despite not being a bad game. It has failed. Oh, we'll try rivalry. So, cargo run, plant the cargo. Rivalry, no respawn, plus XP. Good luck finding a game in rivalry. I mean, I suppose we will we'll, we will try it on queue time. No, but I, I'm willing to, to stick it out. I think seven minutes. Even with the low player count, I still think that we should get the one in within seven minutes. Oh no, that was two minutes. Not too bad. I should take this a little bit more serious though, because rivals, uh, we only have one health. There are no respawns, apparently. Oh, do I choose multiple? Mom. What did I do? What's my level? I'm level five. So I am going up against people who have a fair bit more experience than me. Pick up the cargo and extract at either zone. Okay, he's just running like a glorious little meatball. Okay, I feel like those guys didn't really know how to play rivals. Okay, so I used this one up. And now, oh, I kind of get it. All right. Now I chose those. Now I have improved mobility and I also get tactician because I have faster reload speed now. I get it. Okay. You know what? Not too bad. Who's up for karaoke later? I am terrible, but I can really belt it. Oh, fuck your face off. I can feel my heartbeat beat a little. This is a, it's a good mode. I can't believe you're playing this. I, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Flame. I was curious. 
this is a lot more interesting game mode, just just straight up, you know. That's why we need to learn all characters. But I don't want to learn all the characters. I want to learn one of the characters that I have fun with and play that one. Or maybe a couple of them. Learning all of the characters? I don't... I don't think all of the characters are all that fun to play as. And so if I'm forced to play every character, then this becomes a detriment and not a bonus. All game has high physics, sound design, and sense, insane haptics on each gun, etc. The game's not for you then. Well, it turns out it's not just for me. It's not for anyone. It's for 600 people. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few. I got a few characters that I got down. But if I can't just jump in and have fun for a little while and then jump back out, then I, I don't, th this game isn't for anyone. I think you can very much just enjoy playing the game and ignore the crew bonuses. The crew bonus is, in a, is an extra. It's not really fundamentally necessary. When matches have balanced teams, it's something else. Yeah, well, there's a lot of uh, whens and ifs. Your average player is not going to care too much about the ifs and buts. This is the only lobby for the game. Is this the only lobby for- is it? Is that why everybody's watching me? There's gotta be a couple of extra ones. We don't know what modes will come. Well, who cares? Too late now. You can't say we don't know what modes will come. It's the same concept of people who are selling crypto who are saying, Oh, well, in the future, it's gonna be great. You know, think about the metaverse. In the future, think about what it could be. You're not buying the future. You're buying it today. You're always buying it today. No matter what any salesman is trying to tell you. So you gotta keep that in mind. Oh boy! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, hello? <laughs> Shh! It's fine. There's a couple of them left. Oh god. Oh, there's one left. Kill him! Get him! You can get it! It's the first person to uh, hit four wins, is it? Okay, not too bad. Okay. Whew. That that was good. That was really good. Oh, that was also really solidly done by them. I got one. Woo! Three, three. This is match point. Oh, that was... I thought I was running and I thought I had like all of them there. Oh boy, this one is... This one is gonna be close. Oh no, it's our team. It's our team. And he's in the middle there. He's gonna get screwed by the rest. Uh, yeah, we got it. Because it really does feel like you're playing a slightly slower Destiny. And the weapons don't hurt as much as in Destiny. I mainly play Elden Ring though, Savage. I don't really... I'm not gonna play this game again. She says boom, so it indicates that she wants to be, you know, that crazy kind of character. She wants to be Crazy Tina. No, Tiny Tina from Wardlands. That's what she wants to be, I think. That's what it feels like to me. And I love the design of Tiny Tina. Don't remind me of the Boardlands movie. Yeah, I've heard some bad shit about it. 5,000 is copies are just fucking insane. Yeah, it really is. They could recover from this launch. I don't think they will. I basically think they're gonna eat the loss. Apex Legends looks weird. There's this epic music in the background. And then you have this guy. This is the developer saying, well, we gotta have somebody of heft in the game, right? We definitely need somebody like that. And so they created this guy. He would be a Deadpool gag. He would! I think that's gonna be the end though, guys. I'm sorry. My, uh, time as a Concord streamer has come and gone. We'll give Montage some love. Here comes the number one Kong! Oh, you, you dethroned the first guy? Let's go! Let's fucking go! Nice! He dethroned the guy with 68 views. Wait! Dude, okay, that's the number one Concord streamer. You show some damn respect. You put some respect on that man's name.